First meeting of his I went to, I was a student at UNCG, then Woman's College in Greensboro, 1951. He was such a wonderful man of God and a messenger of God. Thank you. Will there be another one like him? I doubt it. Perhaps in my next, in another lifetime, not in my lifetime. <laughs> I came out to bring um, some flowers because Billy Graham, he was a man of God. He was so boldly, he boldly, he so boldly confessed the Word of God. And I believe because of his service to humanity that he's truly going to be great in the kingdom of heaven. It is a great loss. It is very heartbreaking. I, I am truly deeply heartbroken, but I also know that he's in peace, that he's in heaven, a place that he professed that he wanted to always be and he worked hard to get there and I know that he is there and because he's there I think even greater things he can do uh, from being in heaven and you know the prayers that he prayed for our country I think we'll still be just fine. I'm holding up well. I'm still here <laughs> and very thankful today and uh, we are just we just have a great sense of gratitude today for the interest people have people who remember him with appreciation uh, sadness maybe a, a little bit of that but for for so long he's been right on the edge of eternity as it were and for him to slip away so quickly Wednesday morning while it was surprising it's it's uh, it's not overwhelming I think he'd say it's not about me it's about the Lord I remember at his last stadium meeting here in Charlotte, the mayor of Charlotte told us he was riding up the platform with Billy and everybody was cheering and Billy said, wait a minute, it's not about us, it's about him. Years ago when I was 17 years old, Billy came to my hometown in Canada and spoke at one of our rallies up there and it was kind of a disappointing night, but he came over afterwards and put an arm around my shoulder and said, I'm going to pray for you that if you stay humble, God will use you. So I'm part of that legacy. I think there's many other younger men and women around the world who want to make Christ known as he did and want to do it in the way that he did. I always say to them, lead like Jesus and lead not as empire builders, but as kingdom seekers. He'll have many who will carry on what he did. We don't need more Billy Grahams as such. We need so many people to say, I want to be who I am as, as he was. By the grace of God, I am what I am, is what he'd say, and you'd be like that too.